hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion with uh, the subject of radar systems and engineering and in the previous videos we have discussed a lot of things related to uh, various uh, radar measurements its characteristic features about some concepts related to radar signal processing and its efficiency and uh, basic concepts related to the signals involved in radar so in this video we are going to discuss some basic radar functions for which it is generally implemented although it is used for a variety of purposes the basic things which uh, they are used for we'll discuss so we all uh, uh, are familiar with the concept of uh, radar and its various components the basic principle of operation of a radar system involving uh, the transmission of electromagnetic signals its interception with the target object its uh, reflecting back and its processing the the processing of the echo signal and then the, the analysis of it to extract various information related to the target so the basic principles the basic uh, functions why the radar is generally implemented generally used they are first search and detect tracking and imaging so we'll discuss each of them separately so the first and most important purpose or the function of a radar is search and detect so this involves the radar which is installed at a particular place it has to search a given certain space or volume and uh, it has to uh, detect the presence of a particular target or object be it in any situation so in this case it has no previous information about the nature of the target so this whole process involves pointing the radar antenna in uh, steps at the various points which covers the whole search space the whole search volume and this happens in a sequence and then transmitting electromagnetic waves and waiting for a response the echo signal so when it gets the echo signal it concludes that there is an object uh, or a target object in a given search volume so this whole search and detect process one important factor which involves here is the amount of time required to scan or to search a given volume so the whole process involves dividing the whole search space suppose this is the amount of search space the total space which is to be covered which is to be checked so what the uh, antenna does depending on its size the beam width and its various other features it divides the whole search space into several smaller discrete search volumes and in such in succession in steps in a sequence it scans each of these small volumes at us after a certain period of time interval of time which is also fixed and by that it covers the whole search volume in a sequence one after the another so obviously it will take some time so that is the major issue is that how quickly it can scan it can search the given volume so this depends on the amount of search space when the search space will be more the time taken will be more the beam width of the antenna and uh, how much time it uh, spends at a particular position so all these factors are taken into consideration but search and detect is one of the most important functions of the target one of the important reasons why radars uh, uh, are generally used for next is tracking so tracking is the second uh, 
function uh, the second step after search and detect so if uh, the radar it has to track a particular targets its movement its uh, various features such as its range elevation azimuth angle doppler shift velocity whatever feature it wants to measure and keep a track of after detecting the target in a particular search space the various features whatever it wants to measure that is continuously monitored so it can be the range it can be the elevation angle it can be the azimuthal angle it can be the doppler shift the velocity measurement whatever and it is continuously measured as a function of time for uh, it can keep a track with the help of a graph where it measures let's say the range or position of the target as a function of time where the y axis represents the position and in x axis we have the time in seconds so how much uh, distance seconds or whatever units it is so how much the target's position is changing it's moving with respect to time it is monitored similarly we can use angular position that is elevation and azimuthal angle or velocity also in a similar way so this is the whole process of tracking so search and detect and tracking and then we have imaging so imaging we have already discussed but still we'll discuss it a little bit more so imaging is basically uh, a general term which is applied to you know several method methods are there for which we can obtain a information about the uh, range and angular position of the target we have already discussed about resolution range resolution cross range resolution so please watch the uh, previous videos where i have discussed about uh, accuracy signature range resolution angular resolution or cross range resolution that i have discussed in detail so imaging is basically the process of combining the data and information related to the target range resolution and angular or cross range profile combining them to form a, a general uh, you know um, mapping of the target so this basically involves the signals that are reflected or radiated back from the target and depending on the time of travel the time gap the amplitude the frequency the phase depending on that the nature of the echo signals will form a mapping of the target okay so this gives us an overall idea about the nature of an unknown object so just by looking at the mapping the image profile of the target we can predict what is the uh, what the target actually is for example by looking at this image profile forget about this plane just by looking at this image profile one can predict that uh, the unknown object which is in the search volume or the search space it is probably an aeroplane similarly if we have a truck or any other vehicle or a bus or anything just by looking at the image profile the mapping we can predict whether it is a bus or a truck or a human being or a tank or a fighter jet or, or a ship or anything whatever it is so just by looking at the shape and size of the image profile the prediction can be done so that the imaging process a good quality imaging it can increase the accuracy of that prediction so this are these are the basic functions uh, for which the radar is generally implemented there are a lot of other purposes also for which radars are used which we will discuss but these are the basic radar functions so here we have discussed about them so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering, science and technology. Have a great day. Thank you very much.